demonstrations for and against Castro and Cuba, like this one in East Berlin, have been staged throughout the world. The quiet red German crowd, probably turning out on party orders, shows little animation as they display signs supporting Castro. This rally preceded by a few days, the important foreign policy speech of President Kennedy aimed directly at the communists. Any unilateral American intervention in the absence of an external attack upon ourselves or an ally would have been contrary to our traditions and to our international obligations. But let the record show that our restraint is not inexhaustible. Should it ever appear that the inter-American doctrine of non-interference merely conceals or excuses a policy of non-action, if the nations of this hemisphere should fail to meet their commitments against outside communist penetration, then I want it clearly understood that this government will not hesitate in meeting its primary obligations, which are to the security of our nation. We do not intend to be lectured on intervention by those whose character was stamped for all time on the bloody streets of Budapest. It is not the first time that communist tanks have rolled over gallant men and women fighting to redeem the independence of their homeland. Nor is it by any means the final episode in the eternal struggle of liberty against tyranny anywhere on the face of, glo of the globe, including Cuba itself. Mr. Castro has said that these were mercenaries. According to press reports, the final message to be relayed from the refugee forces on the beach came from the rebel commander when asked if he wished to be evacuated. His answer was, I will never leave this country. That is not the reply of a mercenary. He has gone now to join in the mountains countless other guerrilla fighters who are equally determined that the dedication of those who gave their lives shall not be forgotten and that Cuba must not be abandoned to the communists and we do not intend to abandon it either. His directness and compassion for their cause elates Cubans in Miami who stage a rally to thank the United States for support lent to exiles in Florida. Nearly 6,000 anti-Castro Cubans are on hand. They take heart at the president's words and feel all is not lost.